Um, when I was a kid, I really liked Kehlani Ricketts. I just loved everything about her. I liked watching her compete. So my mom was a Division I softball player at Illinois State University, and ever since she, I found out when I was younger that she was a like softball player, I always wanted to kind of like be what she was. Definitely Serena Williams. She's amazing. Um, I was always a big Lindsey Vaughn fan. I loved to ski growing up. And then um, in terms of softball, I was a big Lacey Waldrop fan who also played here. It's honestly kind of amazing. I never thought I'd be in a position that I have so many young kids looking up to me. Um, I'll randomly get like a message on Instagram asking like, how did you get where you're at? How can I be better at this? What did you do when this was going on and you had this to do? Like from little girls who are eight through high school, like they're just starting their lives and they're already worried about like the positions about where they're gonna be when they grow up and just to think that they want to come to me and they trust me with like to answer those kinds of questions when they're so young. I feel very impactful and I feel it is honestly one of the best feelings. After games there's like lines upon lines to like get autographs or just to see us or they'll come up to some other girls on the team and they'll know like everything about the girls. Following the girls on TikTok, following our Instagram and just like loving us as people also and they could name everything about everyone on the field and it's just really cool because the game of softball is growing and I think that to see all the younger girls coming to the game and just wanting to be us is just like makes us play for them a little bit too. It's amazing. It's definitely a privilege for all these girls to look up to me, uh, knowing one day that I was in their shoes and one day that they could be in my shoes. It's a really cool thing. Just seeing all these young girls that want to get to where I am and uh, seeing the growth of the sport of softball, I think that it's really special and I'm very grateful for it. Um, if I was to give a message to little girls, I would definitely tell them to just never give up on what you want and always um, shoot for the stars because you never know what you can accomplish if you just really put your mind to something. Yeah, I would just say that when I was growing up, um, you know, everybody goes through their own struggles, but I think that one of mine was just feeling out of place in the world, you know, feeling like I didn't quite fit in and I feel like I found my place on the softball field. Um, so just for everybody, looking for their place, like you will be able to find it and you're gonna find people that love you and support you and want you to be the best you that you can possibly be. So just keep looking for that and when you find it, put everything that you are into that. So when I was a junior in high school, my dad passed away um, pretty suddenly, very unexpected. And so kind of off the bat, I had to learn how to be very independent. Um, and I had to learn how to do it very fast because we all of a sudden just were missing a part of our family. So I had to go take myself to practices, keep track of my own schedule, um, worry about meals, worry about a bunch of things that like, while my mom was busy to handling other things and other more adult wise and family things, I had to worry about myself. Anything I go through here on out will never be as hard as um, the day that I lost my dad, so. Um, just that I love them a lot and uh, there's no way that I would actually be sitting in this chair doing what I'm doing every day without their constant love, support, appreciation. Um, and it didn't matter what it was I was doing. It could have been softball, volleyball, swimming, school, um, going to hang out with friends. They drove me everywhere and did everything for me, so thank you. Is there a message that you want to share with young girls that want to be in your position one day? Um, you can choose to wake up happy, and you can choose to be happy to go to every workout, every practice, um, or you can choose to be think of it as something you have to do instead of something that you want to do. And it makes 
when you change your perspective and you think of it as something that you do really get to do and want to do every day, it makes the process much more fulfilling and it makes it more of a journey instead of just a, a goal at the end of the tunnel.